Are you thinking about changing the suspension on your 24 Road Glider Street Glide? Watch this video first, it might save you some money. What's up? Jim here. This is J Street Moto. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if it's your first time. Uh, as mentioned before on a couple of videos, uh, I'm an admin in a group for road glides on Facebook. I'm also in a couple of other road glide groups on Facebook. And uh, honestly, I look at some of the questions that I see there that people ask general postings. And I use that sometimes to come up with what I'm gonna show y'all on the channel. Just like I did with the, uh, the video where I I showed you how to change every setting you can change in your infotainment center. So I've been seeing a lot of questions about suspension. I've been seeing guys ask questions about suspension. I've been seeing guys, you know, what suspension are you gonna go with? I've also seen questions about how to set the suspension up. So let's talk about this first. Um, on the 24 models, street glides and road glides, it's hardly significantly changed the suspension on both the front and the rear. Specifically in the rear, you now have two adjustments. I will call them, I will consider them a coarse adjustment and a fine adjustment for the preload on your suspension on the rear. If you don't understand what preload is, it's basically how much the bike is gonna move before it starts to push back on you. Let me show you what the two sides of your rear suspension look like on these new motorcycles. So this is the throttle side of the bike. This setup here should look fairly familiar to you. And then over here, on the clutch side of the bike, there is a, a fine adjustment right here that can be used to affect the preload on this side. On page 51 and page 52 in your manual, page 51 specifically, gives you the instructions for how to figure out how to set the preload on the throttle side of the bike or the right side of the bike. It's that, it's that simple. We're gonna walk through that here in a second and I'm gonna put a screenshot up or a picture of that table so that it makes sense as I'm talking to you about it. The other thing that comes on your bike, well, and it's really the only thing you need to do this job. You need two things to do this. This spanner wrench comes, for me it came inside the bag that had my service manual in it, or my manual in it, the bike's owner manual. Uh, you need this, and you need some device that measures either centimeters or millimeters. And for those of you that are like me and live in the US, I'll give you, I'll give you a little refresher in your metric class. If it measures in centimeters, multiply by 10, and that's millimeters. It's that simple. The level that I'm gonna be using today measures in centimeters, so we'll be multiplying by 10. Now, it's a pretty simple table to understand. I'll tell you how I set mine. You go into the table, you look at what your weight is, and that's gonna be on the vertical, or the left side of the graph, or the chart, is a better way to put it. Find your weight. If you're the only one, when you ride normally, if you never ride two up, and you rarely travel and all you're doing is riding around town I would use your weight and add a couple of pounds to it for crap you carry around the saddlebags normally right I tend to ride two up some enough that the fine adjustment can't get me there so I picked a weight that was kind of a combination of myself and my wife it was my full weight partial weight of my wife and the weight that I normally carry every time I'm out for a ride. Then I use the fine adjustment, because you can, with the fine adjustment, you can tune it up to another eight, another 100 pounds. But the, the course adjustment's really gonna make the big difference for you. So I use that weight and pick something kinda in the middle. For me, in the table, it ended up resulting at 34 millimeters. When you do this, you're going to crank this down with the spanner, and it does go right to increase the tension, left to loosen it. This ring is all the way at the top. When it first comes from the factory, this ring and this, this is gonna be all the way up here. 
spring is going to be fully extended. So you're going to crank it down and the distance that you're trying to measure for the chart when it says you know you need 34 mil millimeters for instance the distance you're measuring is from the bottom of this ring to the top of this one so if i take mine with the metric side there you will see i am at between 32 and 34 millimeters 33 millimeters is where i needed it set at once you create the proper gap, then what you're gonna do is take your spanner wrench and you're gonna crank this ring down into position on top of the other ring. Once it's there, you lock it down, tighten it up with the spanner wrench. And then you're done on that side. Then, for instance, the next time I take a trip, I'm gonna be putting another 40 pounds of shit on the bike. Possibly, might be a little more than that. That's when you go to page 52. Look at the chart there. That's gonna tell you what number to pick on your fine tune adjustment right here. You can see the numbers right there, one through 20. And you just turn this thing you rotate it to go in, rotate it left to pull it out. That'll allow you to increase the weight or the preload to adjust your suspension for the amount of weight that's going on the bike. I suggest you try setting this up before you make your judgment call on whether you need new suspension on your motorcycle. I get it, suspension's like handlebars, it's like seats, it's like everything else on a Harley. It's a personal preference. But if you're new to this world, if you're new to the Harley world, if you're new to the Harley touring motorcycles, or if this is just your first like updated Harley touring bike, you might wanna check this out before you go and spend a boatload of money on new rear suspension and new front suspension. Come up with a ride feel and a handling feel that you possibly can get with the stock setup. Hope you've learned something. Please feel free to comment, ask questions, do whatever in this video. I'm very responsive. Uh, do me a favor, like, subscribe, click the notification bell, share it with your friends. All that stuff's free to you and it helps the channel. Always ride safe. Yeah, ready? One, two, three, shoot. Ah. Asshole. Really? <laughs> Peace out, bitches! <laughs>